anyways. You have this. Wait, are you this on is... Xbox or PlayStation? What? I'm are you, are you on Xbox? I'm on PlayStation. He's on the superior console, bro. Yeah, man, I'm on PlayStation, dude. Wait, do I share tabs or do I share windows, dude? All right, cool. Yeah. Or any prophet that does not say that Jesus Christ came in flesh. We got seen this. He's also fasting for years and ages. I'm more for the fasting as well. Yeah, I don't understand like why they, I don't this I am the one that guy is so weird, bro. When I met him in the park, like do you know who he's do you know who he's built like, bro? He built like a uh, linebacker. Nah, listen, listen, he's built like this one John. Hold on. I'm gonna show you now. The luck is No, he's actually bro, I don't know his name. I don't know who this guy's name yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I found his picture, I found his picture. He's built, bro, I'm telling you, he's built like this one, John, bro. You see this, brother? He's built like, man, like, when I saw him in real life, this is how he was built, like. Some John, oh, um, Bartholomew Kuma, bro. Some from One Piece. Some bread from One Piece, yeah. He's got no legs, bro. But all he's got, like, is, like, upper body arm, and that, and he's tall. And he's, and he's, like, he's got more belly than chest. Do you know what I mean? He's got more belly than chest. So it's, like his other body's like inflated and the lower body's like whatever i know what i look like as well i look like um yeah i look i look tired i'll be honest but still come on man what is going on anyways man let's see this uh this is um ananda a rabbi ananda if ananda's here like guys can you contact ananda and see if you can get him in here so like he can actually like look at this as well um ananda if you're on um tiktok come here so this is him uh talking to sneeko in the park Fasting thing. It's like, well, oh, I'm, I'm better than you because yeah. I don't eat food. That yeah. is so weird, bro. It's being like, do you drink water? Do you do this? Do you do that? Do you pray five times a day? Uh, just because you do certain things doesn't make your religion, your religion true. Like, better. If if I made up a religion today that said you have to pray a hundred times a day and fast all the time, that doesn't make it any more true. Yeah, it just means that you're good at practicing stuff. And again, Satan's goal isn't like to make you do bad things, right? It's to keep us away from Jesus Christ, right? And so because of that, he's very much willing to concede on many, 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 many fronts. If it means that you don't approach the person of Christ, right? That's it. Anyways. All right. I think they want a little bit. Can we have a little discussion for the cameras? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. You just give us your views on Christianity and we'll just talk about them. Not, we don't have to debate. We can just dialogue if you like. Okay, so, so what are you? Let's start with I'm, a, I'm an Eastern Orthodox. East, what does that mean? So a lot of times people say Orthodox, they start off by saying a place. Yeah, because you know, they're... People don't say I'm an Arabic Muslim. They don't say I'm an Indonesian Muslim. They just say Muslim. That's well, the number one thing when you hear Orthodox. I'm, I'm a Serbian Muslim. What does that mean? That's, that's just... <sighs> Bro, this is already starting off terribly, man. Well, yeah, we're going off to a we're going off to a flying start, man. Going off to a flying start. But look, look. To to respond to this objection, um, the Eastern Orthodox tradition prides itself on its multiculturalism, because within the Eastern Orthodox Church there are many rites within the Eastern Orthodox Church, which are indicative of the multiple cultures within the Eastern Orthodox Church, i.e., Russian. Greek, Serbian, Lithuanian, um, Ukrainian, and so on. Now, these don't dis uh, these do not represent differences in theology, but rather differences in liturgical practice. And the differences in liturgical practice are usually linguistic. That that's pretty much it. Um, you would know that if you actually um, cared. I could say, for example, I'm a white Muslim. Yeah. Um, but the reason why you don't say I'm a white Muslim, I'm a Muslim, is because 
you do not accept cultural distinction or multicultural distinction in many aspects. Rather, you conform yourself to the ideology of a 7th century Arabian. So, right. You guys have anything to say on that? Nothing much. Sorry, you cleared right. everything from that, bro. Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's move on. Well, Eastern just refers typically to the fact that the East and West had a split in the schism in 1054 between yeah. what becomes the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Church. We call ourselves particularly Eastern Orthodox to distinct us from the Oriental Orthodox in Egypt, Ethiopia, Armenia, who we have Christological disagreements with. So it's just to point out the distinction in between, because they also call themselves the Oriental Orthodox in Arabic. For them, Oriental East, it's pretty much the same word. So we only say it in English really to distinct in just normal conversation, we just call ourselves Orthodox. Right. It's just for the sake of making sure that it's clear what position we are holding to. That will just be Chalcedonian Christology. That will just be basic stuff like Diophysitism. So as opposed to their view of uh, strict no. Mia. When it said um, <laughs> basic stuff like Chalcedonian Diophysitism, I can't lie, Sneeko's gone. He's <laughs> Sneeko yeah, doesn't know a word he's saying right now. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Sneeko doesn't understand the like words that are actually coming out of this guy's mouth. And I love it. I love it so much. It's funny. But yeah, by um diaphysitism for everyone that doesn't know, obviously it's the view that Christ has two natures. Um and that Christ as a person subsists in two natures. Um, rather than the one composite Christ being of two natures, which is uh an Meophysite, uh, a Meophysite articulation. Not necessarily wrong, as we've had um, dialogues in the 1990s that suppose that actually both groups are using different terminology to arrive at the same one truth and one reality. No, I'm What's that? <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, Constantinople okay, too close up that. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> don't worry, we're just we're just having a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You said Eastern Orthodox. Yeah. Serbian Orthodox, Russian Orthodox. I go to a I go to a Greek church. Okay, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Just asking. No, no, come, come. I wanna I wanna have a little dialogue with you, man. I'm not trying to not trying to. What do you want to talk about? I'm like I'm saying I'm trying to hear your views on on Christianity. You normally have a lot to say on your. How many gods do you believe in? One. One God. Yeah. Jesus God. Absolutely. Let's do that way. So. Who did Jesus pray to? The Father. Oh, okay, that sounds like there's more than one now. How well, can, there's more God pray to himself? because there's more than one hypostasis in the Godhead. There's not more than one God because God in this case refers to the nature, the divine nature, as uh, as mentioned <laughs> in Second Peter one. Don't be going around calling people Sharmuta. What the hell? Yo, uh, what did he just say, bro? Are you sure you Wait, restart. Absolutely. <laughs> so there's one being in three persons. What's that word you're using? Hypostasis. Well, what's your definition of that? Person, individual subsistence and a rational so nature. separate or that's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're finished, guys. Restart. Uh, restart. Uh, <laughs> it's so over, bro. It's so over for us, bro. Bro didn't get the, uh, the update yet. Yeah. No, we didn't yeah. get the, the biblical update, bro. We didn't get that, though. What's the difference between distinct and separate? Well, separable means they can be taken apart. We're not saying they can be it's taken apart. It's semantics. I can't, I, I it's not semantics. It's metaphysically different. Yeah, this... I can't lie. I'm getting distracted by this. I am the one that guys face, bro. Bro, why is... <laughs> <it's>... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. Nah, bro, you can't tell me that. I'm not... Bro, come on, man. Brother, ooh. Brother, what's that? What's that? <laughs> bro, what's that, do you know why? Do you know I'm angry here? Yeah, because this is the guy. This is the guy that said that like I can't talk to Sneeko because I have a mask on my face. So that's why I'm like moving like this in it. Like obviously you all love, but bro, come on, man. Separation implies like this. I can separate this from myself, but a distinction just implies that there is a difference between two things without being able to separate them. Yeah. They're different insofar as their identity is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They're not different insofar as their nature. Once again, the problem is, is like we know that Ananda's saying the right thing, but in Sneeko's mind, it's doing that. Like he doesn't know the terminology, and I'm the one who knows this. So guess what he's gonna say? This is gibberish. This is gibberish. Gibberish, bro. It's gibberish. It don't mean on. It don't mean on. This is the. But yeah, what he's articulating so far is like correct, so. Okay. Nah, bro. See, 
Are you sure you believe in one? Absolutely, I believe in one God. Okay. So when you pray, do you pray to God or you pray to Jesus? Either or, it's the same thing. Either is that that mean that applies too. <laughs> yeah. See how the language is already. You can you, you can make a linguistic point if you want. The point is I could say is, I could say oh God or I could say oh Jesus. I'm just saying there's not really a distinction between saying either of those things. Okay. It's the, it's that. I think it's like bro. Do you pray to God or to Jesus? By God, he means Allah in his head rather than like the divine nature or the divine essence. So if I want to pray to just the di triune God as in the divine essence, the, that which is beyond everything, that which is subsistent existence itself, I can pray to that. Can I pray to Jesus? Yes, because Jesus is literally subsistent existence itself. That there is no issue there there's no issue there that's, that's two gods bro that's two oh gods. yeah i forgot i forgot, oh, I forgot. <laughs> you, did you not hear sneeko just say that one plus one that's two did i, did uh, I, I miss that christianity is cooked bro <laughs> the religion's cooked but no genuinely like i just don't think he knows metaphysics and that's okay like i think ananda could have done better here in just like breaking down the terms even more because people like i'm the one are just like not going to understand what's going on the, it's, okay, bro. it's, it's okay. like the difference between saying oh ya allah and ya rahman it's just you can say either or but you're referencing back to the same being right uh, that's just two names, mm. right? yeah that's the point and we're just giving you two names of persons in the godhead you're saying two distinct not see you need to not say names. separate entities these are distinct yeah no one said two different beings um reality mm. doesn't mean a being um it doesn't necessarily mean a being yeah it's just mm. a quivocity but it's fine. If he wants to use pure equivocity, it's fine. I don't really care. Persons, but they are one being. So that's just not characterizing what I said correctly. So is that your contention, Christianity, that we're allegedly tritheists or polytheists? Is that your contention? No, I mean, that's just why. That's what I don't resonate. It never makes sense to me. Well, I, I, just, to people like I don't think Tahid makes sense to me either. But listen, brother, people still believe in your religion. No, nah, we got the argument from incredulity, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, like, look. It's one um, God, bro. Simple. It's one That's God, bro. It's one Even God, like. Can understand, bro. It's know. metaphysically composite, but hey, it's one God, bro. Do you know what I mean? Ugh. What's that? Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Disgusting, What's that, bro. Brother? That's actually nasty. Thank you for the follow, uh, user horse. Oh, uh, wait, wait. We got it down. We got we got someone in the chat. Do we? Prove what? that. Okay. Um. Okay. So Pakistani skeptic. Prove that there is a rational necessity of the Trinity. So, so first of all, if you're a Thomist, right, you don't believe that you prove the Trinity through natural reasoning, right? Yeah, through Aristotelian logic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a divine article of faith, right? So we receive it through divine revelation. That's what Aquinas says. So. It's the same thing with like your God having two right hands. Can you prove that through natural reasoning? No, but you believe that as something which is revealed to you by the Hadith. So now you're going to say that Allah isn't necessary because Allah has two right hands and we can't prove that through natural reasoning. Yeah, that's just that. Look, the, the argument doesn't really make much sense. But um, there's a second comment here. He said, Muhammad Hijab smoked you on divine simplicity. You couldn't answer the question whether there's a real distinction between power and knowledge. Yeah, I said on the part of the human being, there is a distinction. I said on the part of God, there is no distinction between power and knowledge. They are uh, identical in God. So that's not an issue. Um, you also, know, uh, you can have inductive necessary truths. Like, that's not an issue at all. Um, but yeah, Pakistani mm. skeptic, if you want to if you want to hop on, you can. Because I think you're just the same as Somali skeptic, but different. But I'm not going to assume that, right? You're going to have to gonna have to invoke Kripke on this one so you know, yeah i'm so. just gonna i'm just gonna invoke Kripke and keep a pushing i'm not gonna lie to yeah. you do you know what i mean just keep pushing um mohammed hijab hasn't schooled anyone since he had gray hair true very true <laughs> i speak to ethan orthodox catholics mm -hmm. jehovah's witnesses did you say ethan orthodox you know what i'm not even, not even gonna, <laughs> i'm not gonna do it i'm not let's just move on man Christian scientists, Mormons, everybody has a different definition. Yeah. Whether it's a form, it's a distinct being. Jesus is God. There's only one God. There's three gods. There's the Holy Spirit. Which, which, which Christians are you talking to that said there's three gods? Oh, a lot. The Christians are never consistent about what they well, believe. Well, yeah, which 
which which, which one? one? Which one? Like, I can't lie. Like even like absent from people that claim to be part of the Christian community that says it. Um, oh, Pakistani skeptic said no. I'm scared of sick today. On the next stream, I'll join. This yo. <laughs> This guy, bro. <laughs> what the? <Brother>. Uh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's nasty. What's, What's that, brother? brother? That's nasty. That's nasty, bro. You, nah, you hold for that one, bro. You, you hold for that one, bro. All right. At least he's honest, though. What the hell? Oh, a lot. The, the, the Christians are never consistent about what they believe. Well, believing. anyone who told you... I've never heard the hypotheses. I've never heard Well, that's, that's the standard formula that it's been for centuries. For two, nearly 2,000 years, this has been our standard formula, formulization. I mean, once again, I don't know any I'm Christian who says... the first time I've heard a Christian say, like, I ask, okay, you believe in one God, and then he says, yeah. hey, either or. If you played to one, you wouldn't use the word either. I don't understand what you mean by that. Do you pray to Allah or God? Same diff. Like, that's what he means. Because by God, Ananda just means the divine substance. He doesn't mean one of the divine persons. He's not picking out one of the divine persons, right? Um, so that's why there's no issue for us. Whereas for you, when you use the term God, you are always, in every case, for you, you are always picking out a divine person. You're picking out uh, the person of Allah or the person of the Father in this case. Um, and again, like the critique would make sense. Most of the critiques of like Allah having a kid or Allah having a son makes sense if you interpret the term Allah to refer to our concept of the father, which many Muslims do. Uh, but again, in my debate with Muhammad Hijab, he just says, I don't believe in that concept, which again is also fair, but at the same time seems to be in, uh, disingenuous to the previous conversations that have been done through history. All right. Uh, Thomas Apologia, do you believe that the Palamas's position on uh, that Palamas's position on God's energies goes against the immutability of God? It goes against the immutability of God. Yeah, not the composition, uh, just immutability. Yeah, I don't think it would go against the immutability of God because I, yeah, I don't think about the energies that would change God in His essence. So I don't yeah, think that all right. Immutability. No, I appreciate that, man. All right, cool. Let's look at the next thing. All right, this is it. But, uh, you said you believe in one. You say you believe in one, but yeah. you know, ask, who do you pray to, Jesus or God? You said either one. No, I'm saying, either you, I'm saying two. either or. Well, you can twist my language if you want, but as I already made clear, we're talking about hypostases. We're talking about the fact that it, any of them are God according to us, but we still pray to any of them as God. There's not really a distinction in regards that they are God. But there's no yeah, so I think a way that we can understand this right here, I'm just gonna open up a, I'm gonna open up a Google Doc right here. So let's say for example, um, and I'll share this tab instead. Did someone just send a chat just now? Thank you so much for the sub. Um, right. Um, let's say for example, you have a divine uh, person, right? Um, if we direct our worship to one of these divine persons that's completely fine, right? But when we use the term God, um, that can either pick out the divine substance of God or one of the divine persons. So when I say, for example, oh, God bless you or something of that nature, I'm either picking out usually like one of the divine persons or I'm actually just picking out the divine essence in general. I'm just referring to uh, the Trinity. May the Father through the Son in the Spirit bless you, right? Like that's what I'm picking out. So there's no real issue or difference in doing that. So that's why I would say that actually what um, Ananda is saying here is actually pretty correct. It's pretty fine. Uh, someone said, uh, bro, you absolutely scored hijab on Sunday several times. He asked you to explain terms because he had no idea. I appreciate that, man. But that's basically what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, do you guys have anything you want to add to uh, this whole praying to the person and praying to the substance or praying to the person and praying to God as whole, uh, as holy trinity? Uh, praying to the I persons as holy you, God uh, and praying to the persons as holy the trinity? I think you have absolutely missed the target. That's free gods, bro. Oh, okay, Stop right. Coming. You see, you people that like you, I'll actually ban you. I'll actually ban you so quickly. I'll ban you so quickly. I'll ban you quickly, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to complicate it with big words, bro. Bro, I'm so telling you, bro. I don't watch the world a lot. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, man. I've, I'm cooked.
no difference between that and saying you can call upon any of the names of your God and it's still referring to the same being. That's not necessarily a problem. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sort of rhetoric is why I love Christianity and why Tawheed makes sense to me. The but that's not rhetoric. That that's calling it rhetoric isn't, you know... I'm not calling it rhetoric. I'm just you saying, did. You said, it's, you said that sort of rhetoric. The way you're explaining it right now, just, it still doesn't make sense. That's called a personal incredulity fallacy. So appealing to your own lack of understanding of a thing does not entail a thing is not true. That's, that's fire right there. That's fire. That was very good. That was very, very good. That was, that was very nice. I like that one a lot. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. Thank you for the follow, Statislav. Um, do, do you know I appreciate what you. goes hard, right? What goes hard is when you give them the logical fallacy. And but what goes even harder is, is not only when you explain it, but when you give them an example of the mm. logical fallacy, right? So if Ananda would have just added a bit more spice onto the fire and he would have said something like, just because I don't understand quantum mechanics, doesn't mean doesn't quantum mean mechanics is false. Yeah. Like, this is just how we keep on, we keep on firing up the cook right here. Yeah, literally, the thing is, he's baking right now, still. Bro. He's getting bro. smoky, man. Someone said, Ananda bombing sneaker with philosophical terms. He's not familiar with them. Seems unfair to me as a Muslim. You Okay, so then, if that's the case, right, would it not be unfair when every single Christian missionary, uh, not Christian missionary, when every single Islamic Dawa team goes to christians knowing that they're not knowledgeable or suspecting that they're not knowledgeable and having conversations with them anyway using specific jargon using specific arguments i mean it, it goes both ways and i would agree yeah. to a certain extent right i mean we should be charitable or right? we should break down the terms we're using right for, for the you know yeah, yeah, yeah. we should do that spot. like i'm not even going to discount that we should do that Delicious. By the way, just before we start, guys, listen, I am streaming every day, 6 p.m., right? Most days I'll be live from 6 p.m. GMT, so that'll be 1 p.m. Um, EST. So I'm starting my streams from then. So if you want to watch me play Rainbow Six, then come in at 1 p.m., okay? And we're going to be we're gonna be playing that. If you have content or videos that you want me to react to, make sure, thank you for the follow swords, make sure you tag me or you send me the thing. Someone said, how long have I been studying chemistry? I've never studied chemistry in my life, or lie. Hey, don't call, don't, hey, yo, don't call her a prostitute. He just called her a prostitute in Arabic. Have some manners, bro. Show your, show your manners Why are you talking about? Why are you talking about? Don't call people a Why are you talking about? Don't call, don't call women a shawl. Yeah, don't call women a shawl. Don't call women a shawl. That's just disrespectful. Your mother. Your mother. What did you say? This Egyptian guy is crazy. Bro, he yeah, just called he a random woman a frozzy. He's chasing her with a cucumber with a... Um, um, with a, with a jimmy on it. No, I said there's a jimmy yeah. on, the, on the dump. There's That's, a jimmy on the dump. Hold on, what? You get crazy people at Speaker's Corner, bro. Like, when no, you go disgusting. there, like, he, for people in the chat that have actually been there, you will see that there are some loony people that go there, bro. No, you have some people that are, like, loopy. You have actual people that are, like, loopy. It's it's crazy, these people. Shut the fuck up! Yeah. Regardless, don't Regardless. give people short water. Be better. Be better. Are you Christian? 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 Be better. Be better. Shilla, be better. 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 Be First of all, how do you know how long a donkey's wood is? I need to like understand like oh, how. Just how do you know how bro. long? Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Have you what you've been looking at donkey's wood? That's crazy. That is crazy. Second of all, um, look at the like the I am the Warner guy. This is the point where, as an American, you say this is bad, bro. Stop it. What do you do? You look and you smile. You're like yeah, Allah, yeah. like. Dude, have you no integrity, bro? Like, you, the reason I'm calling you out is because you are the specific person that calls people out and saying they have no integrity. The time now where you are supposed to show your integrity, you do not do that. I don't call people out and say they have no integrity until they make integrity an issue. I assume integrity on their part, right? And I point it out. But I don't say, oh, you're supposed to have integrity. You do. You say Christians have no honor, we have no discipline, we have no this and have no that. That's you, not me. This is the Islamic adab. This is the manners of Muslims. This is the 
Shaking his head. He's shaking his head. He's shaking his head. Jalili, just walk away. Jalili, just walk away. Leave her alone, Nana. Don't touch him. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Don't touch me, you son of a bitch. Leave her alone. That's the question. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. That's the question. Harass the women. So here we didn't. Sorry, that inter interrupted us over there. Yes. So it's okay. It's okay, bro. I don't. I don't really want. Oh to no, because I want to engage with what you think about my beliefs, right? Because you say. Is that, what, is that what you really want? Or you just yeah, want yeah, yeah. clout. Mm, I can put it. I can't lie. I want clout. I'll be honest. I, will. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want that them Benjamins, baby. I want that clout. Of course, that's the only reason yeah. why I'm doing this. No, I'm kidding, guys. Guys, before they come and clip me, it's a joke, guys. It's a joke. I don't actually want. I don't care about that. If anything, yeah. I just want to grow like my little community and just be chill. I don't actually want to get clout because it's gonna come back and bite me in the bum later if I don't do it properly. So, can, can we yeah, just talk about how weird you have to be as an individual to be chasing women around, calling them prostitutes? while you have like a cucumber in your art in your hand like chasing them nah like, you have to be so that's disgusting. a strange behavior bro it's strange behavior it's it's also like i don't want to use the word in it but it's 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 borderline weird bro yeah it's just it's just weird bro do you know what i mean with god as my witness i have no interest in clout which god my god the lord our god <laughs> Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I was just curious because, you know, he says a lot about our faith online. I just want to engage with him in a dialogue. I think that's fair for a critic of our faith to engage with someone who wants to answer some criticisms. Can I explain? Like, the, reason, the reason that I love Christianity is because I've never heard a, like, an answer that makes sense to me. And you're saying that my... You didn't, the reason you left Christianity is because Andrew Tate left Christianity. Like, there's... Look, look. The thing is, you can have, like, positive logical reasons for leaving a religion, and that's completely fine. However... I don't think anyone would ever make the idea or the claim that you left Christianity because it didn't make any sense. Um, no, otherwise, bro, you, you would have reached those objections much earlier than the Muslim grift started with Andrew Tate. You just followed Andrew Tate in his religion. And in fact, bro. in stream, you've said multiple times, yo, I want to have four wives. I can't really do that under Christianity. Da -da 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 -da. Like, you're 25. Like, it, it just appeals to you more because you want to be hypergamous. And that's okay. That's completely fine. Um, However, Sneeko, when you become 40, right, when you hit 40, 43, and you look back on your life and you realize as you hit your late midlife crisis that actually, hmm, I'm stuck here and I actually abandoned the religion that did care for me, you will come back to us, right? And we will come, we will take you in with open arms. Well, I'm not even going to kid. I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, Sneeko, da, da, da. like, we will take you in with open arms and we'll love you and cherish you and care for I you, bro. I will be like, watching. And we will be watching. We will be there. We will be there. <laughs> you know. And it's cool. Like, bro, like, I just feel like you saying this didn't logically make sense to me. And then someone using actual logical terms. If someone uses logical terms, you know, like, hmm, 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 this is making sense. Hmm, 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 this is making sense. Should you not, like, convert on the spot? Because the only reason you converted, uh, you didn't convert to Christianity is just because, well, it didn't really make sense. Vague. Do you, you want to know one of the reasons he gave in one of his videos? What? <laughs> He said, Catholics believe that the Eucharist is the literal body and blood of Christ. Like, which part of Jesus am I eating right now? Is it the toe? <laughs> so stupid, man. <laughs> Bro, listen. The thing is, like, apart from slandering our Lord and slandering the real presence of the Eucharist, he just doesn't understand what it means for that presence exactly. to happen. No one believes that like a toenail of Jesus is in the bread. Like no one said that. Uh, the Catholic view, which is more explicit. Matter. Right, right. There, there's no matter in there. There's no accidents in there that changed, right? Um, it's actually the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ that is in there that we're eating. It's the real presence of Christ as God and Christ as man that we are taking part in. And that's going to be substantial. That's not going to be accidental, but whatever. My lack of understanding is, is wrong. Well, well I'm saying that from, appealing... Hold on, hold on, let me explain. Faith all starts from understanding. If something doesn't make yes. logical sense to me, if I don't understand... Well, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Oh, my gosh. You do not understand... Oh, my gosh. I get to quote Augustine. Hold on. Hold on. I get to quote Augustine, guys. I'm actually gassed. I'm actually gassed. <laughs> hold on. What? Oh, my gosh. I do not understand... 
so that I believe, but I believe so that I may understand. That's it. You don't understand that you believe. You believe that you understand. Look at it. Right there. That's that's a dust thing. So for those of you in chat that are thinking that I'm making this up, I'm not. Um, the position of like many of the Christians in our faith has always been that you don't understand so that you believe, but you believe so that you can understand. So, in fact, if anyone wants the reference for that, I can get the reference for you right now. Um, I'm going to get the reference for the people right now so that you guys can see where I'm pulling this from. It's from Augustine's letters uh, to his friend. I forget the name of his friend, but I'm going to pull it up right now. Actually, you, you guys can watch me like search this up. So if people think that I'm lying. Boom. You go here, you scroll all the way down. I believe you, you have to... That's the one. Oh, what's the letter? That is the one. What's the letter? Doctor of the Church, Augustine. Both. Hold on. I need to... Yeah. Yeah, the letter... Okay, hold on. There you go. Yeah. Uh, where is letter 100 and... Where's letter 120, bro? Where's letter 120? Ugh, Dang, whatever. Christians have not only removed books from the Bible, but also books from Augustine. <laughs> Christian, so corrupt. You're stupid, bro. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, got the newest update. That's crazy. I'm trying to find, um, yeah, I can just find ad consentium. Uh... What's that? <laughs> um, oh my gosh. The thing is, I, I had Augustus uh... letters. What? Go on. Uh, Ananda, put your sick. Bring me up. Oh yeah, what? Yo, Ananda. Walk one yeah. to the team. Walk one. Walk one. You good, bro? Listen, brother. You know we 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 welcome you here, man. Like we appreciate you having here. Um. So yeah, I mean, how did you feel like you did in the debate with Sneaker? Talk to the people. Talk to the people. Whilst I'm getting you this know, stuff up. I really wish there was more engagement. I wish maybe I was a bit more uh, dominant down a little bit trying to try and engage with him, but it was really difficult to get him to engage. I was hoping he would engage with me mm -hmm. the way he has engaged maybe with Christians and the way he likes to engage with yeah. me. Yeah. I was quite surprised to actually see. He seemed like a very good-hearted individual. When mm. I, from what I could just see from him, he just seems like he's in this space, can't really get out of it, he's just there, and he doesn't doesn't really seem to know what to do with it. But when I before I left, I spoke to him privately. I said, listen, let's get you to a divine liturgy, learn you some theology, you know, yeah, take literally. some real look at Christianity. And yeah. you'll see it's tr that's That's pretty much it. No, that's literally all you can give him. And the thing is, it's like, for people like Sneaker, if he does actually like end up converting to the faith, um, it will be out of genuine reasons rather than like, uh, because some big dude called I Am The Warner uh, told him to. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> again... Right. You know, I, I just feel like, um, no, I'm not going to do big brain. Don't worry. I'm not going to do big brain. I promise. Um, here's something I want you guys to look at. Okay. Um, as you can see on, uh, if you can see that on the stream screen right now, I'm sharing a stream screen, but this is Augustine's letter to his friend Consentius. And it took me some time to find this, but I also wanted to like highlight some parts for you so you can read it as well. <clears throat> If you read here, he talks about knowing the Trinity as regards reason. He said, faith comes from understanding. That's what Sneeko said to you, right? That faith comes from understanding? Well, look at what yeah, the... Yeah, faith begins from understanding. Yeah. What does Augustine say here? Augustine says here, right? Heaven forbid all that God should hate in us by that which he made us more excellent than the other animals. Heaven forbid, I say, that we should believe, and this is on the Trinity, in such a way that we do not accept or seek a rational account, since we could not even believe if we did not have rational souls. In certain matters, therefore, 
pertaining to the teaching of salvation, we cannot yet grasp by reason, but which we will be able to at some point. Faith precedes reason so that the heart may be purified in order that it may receive and sustain the light of the great reason, which is, of course, a demand of reason. And so Isaiah stated quite reasonably, unless you believe, you will not understand. There he undoubtedly distinguished these two and gave the counsel that we should believe first in order that we may be able to understand what we believe. Hence, it was reasonably commanded that faith should precede reason. For if then this command is not reasonable, it is therefore unreasonable, heaven forbid. If then it is, un if then it is reasonable that faith precedes reason with respect to certain great truths then that cannot be grasped. However slight, however slight, the reason is that persuades us to this is also undoubtedly that comes before faith. Now, I'm going to explain what this passage means, right? Basically, there's a famous adage that um, is picked up from Anselm and that is realized in Augustine. And Augustine says, I do not understand that I believe, but I believe so that I can understand. Right? Really beautiful language. But he then says, actually, even to understand, right? Even to believe takes the understanding that you do not believe so that you understand. Right? It's a bit paradoxical. And I'll, I'll list it out here, actually, right? Um, here, he says, right? So you have uh, believing, and then you have, you know, understanding, right? Yeah, believing, uh, understanding on the bottom. But then you believe, right? If you look at, if I just control C that, and I put this under here. Can you guys see the screen, screen, by the way? Yeah, yeah, we see. Yeah, this is the screen. Can you see it? The, the Google Doc? Yeah. So Based Augustine, by the way. Mm -hmm. So understanding, right, is founded on your belief. However, in order, even this, right, takes a crude level of understanding, right? So he is a fideist on this level, but he's still a rationalist on this level. Right. So, yeah, faith precedes reason on certain things, but even to say that faith precedes reason takes reason. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Just thought that was interesting. That's ad consentium letter 120. I'm not going to believe it. All I was stating... It's not, it's not, I was stating, I'm not, I'm not a personal attack in your face. Well, it just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. Well, all and I even was, now, the way you explain it, hypostasis, yeah. either or, just think, it still, it still doesn't make sense, and I don't yeah. think anybody will ever be, maybe be able well, to Well, it's that. made sense and been understood quite consistently throughout many fields of philosophy and theology for centuries. That's now, bear in mind, like, an appeal to mystery is not the same thing as um, appeals to faith. I, I draw a distinction between the two. An appeal to a mystery is going to be something like, well, this is mysterious and this can never be worked out by reason. However, what appeals to faith is saying that the first contact with this idea or belief state is going to be through the light of faith, which is subsequently worked out through reason. You understand that, Kata? You understand that, Apologia? Right, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right, cool, cool, cool. I mean... Actually, point yeah, yeah, go on. Carry on. No, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. No, no, I mean, uh, even Waffle was speaking about this, about mystical datum and whether this could even be expressed cognitively, right? Or whether yeah. that can be uh, translatable into natural language. Mm -hmm. um, which kind of relates to that, right? Um, but yeah, yeah. Karen. No, 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 Ananda, how do you feel about um, this approach that you gave with Sneeko here? Like, how do you feel? I think I wanted to show him that Christians definitely weren't stupid. I, I wanted to demonstrate that, you know, we have something to say about the defense of the Trinity. And I think even though he didn't engage properly, I think overarchingly he learned that Christianity is not this, not yeah. this ball of nonsense. And I think that's what I managed to achieve with my calm and measured approach. Nice, man. You were very, definitely more calm and measured than in your other videos as well, which is nice. It's, it's good to see. Like, definitely. <laughs> no, it's good to see. It's good to see. Like, well done, man. Mm -hmm. Right. I you mean, guys ready to go? He's saying, he's saying all the right things, right? It's just about translating it in a way such that he can understand it, right? 
I mean, and the thing is, like, he's lo- like <laughs> Pakistani skeptic actually says something really important. He says, Sneeko is already discussing with the Dawagandists. You're not securing him, bro. Listen, I can't lie. He's right. <laughs> I can't lie. It's, it's cooked. But the thing is, is I feel like as he separates himself from that, he will realize more and more that he cares more about his own stability of his mind rather than what people think of him online. And he'll probably sneak back into the Christian communities. And hey, we'll take him in, bro. We just, we'll probably prop you up for like five seconds and then we'll just like help you live your Christian journey, dude. Out there Hopefully, yeah. is appealing to Hopefully. I don't understand this or this doesn't make sense to me doesn't actually prove the thing in question false that's called a personal incredulity fallacy so your reasoning is logically flawed so it doesn't follow to s- sometimes is that what Jesus taught you no Jesus taught me to be better but I'm also a human who falls and makes mistakes go on man said are you a hypocrite sometimes hey listen I can't lie you cooked <laughs> <laughs> hey am i a hypocrite hey sometimes man i be i be stumbling yo you did really well there ananda i can't lie hey you did really 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 really, really well can we just eat what the muslim guy just did there right and yeah. Ananda raises a point about how sneaker is appealing to a logically fallacious argument and mm-hmm. then his bodyguard comes in and completely switches the topic to are you a hypocrite trying to like completely switch it away to talking about anything logical and just talking about like personal issues you see the little like debate trick he uses there yeah right yeah. like i even told i am the one like this guy, same guy this guy said for security reasons you're not allowed to speak speaker you have to take off your mask and i'm like why are you hiding are you going to do this i said look you can search my bags all you're going to find are charger heads and a portable charger you're not going to find anything else right i said the reason i put my mask on is because i've had my life threatened in the corner people have threatened to kill me i'm not stupid also there have been christians that have stabbed in the corner he was like oh yeah okay but like just for security you know i'm like no i don't know i actually don't know like tell me why <laughs> do you know what i mean but anyways you guys want to continue with the video or you guys got some yeah, stuff yeah, else to yeah. say just a, a few minutes left i may as well finish it off bro yeah 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 anytime you want to pause you can pause it or i'll pause it oh crap because your Christian sister is cursing. Oh yeah, I disagree brother, with her. But, but you don't say anything to her. Oh, I do. If someone says something towards him. Well, towards her, then you said something. Well, once again, we all know Shalini. Shalini's got a particular way. But calling a woman a shardamuta, which is a prostitute, a whore in Arabic, I was just telling him that by engaging well, she's in this, cursing the greatest I agree. Man to ever step I agree. Her. She shouldn't be. doing Wait, what? First of all, well, of course, the of course, greatest of man. I, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not even. Him. Yeah, go on. <laughs> I wasn't agreeing that he's the greatest. Nah, man. you were agreeing, bro. You were agreeing. So I say, bro. Uh, no, Ananda, Ananda, say, Ananda, repeat after me. Ash, I do. nice that was that was that was good Yunus that was good so so here's my problem right my problem with this is obviously off the bat i don't want to say i'm not going to get into the moral character of muhammad even though that's like a that's like a that's a layup do you know what i mean that's a that's a layup um, I'm not gonna do that. That's a that's that's a oop. He gave me a oop. I'm gonna I'm just gonna pump fake that, and we're gonna look at the. Uh, well, he's disrespecting and so on and not. Why do you think he moved from the argument philosophically about the Trinity to she's disrespecting Muslims? Why do you think he made that move? Oh, because Sinko was not gonna be able to answer, and I think uh, yeah, I think he was concerned that they would see a side to Christianity that they've been working quite hard to to see yeah. Sinko on. Guys, remember, please, if you can, send super chats. No, I'm kidding. You don't have to. Um, anyways, no, nah, it's, it's true, man. It's weird how he talked about hypocr- hypocrisy, but I don't even think I'm the one who knows how these debates work here. Like, just calling him a hypocrite doesn't work here. Like, maybe in America, doesn't work here, man. Doing that in that manner. I've never disagreed. I don't go around the park doing that. I don't think I'm known for doing that. Mm-hmm. I think I don't have any particular reason why I should be lumped in. I was just stating that regardless of that, as a Muslim man, do you really think he needs to be following around a tiny woman like that, calling her a sharmuta? As a Muslim man, genuinely. Do you think... I, I, I don't agree with that, but I don't There you go. So all I was trying to do is... I you guys are the most loving people. It doesn't mean... No love. This, is no love. Just, this is just silly. How because is there no engaged. love? So, so I would be showing love by saying, stop cussing Muhammad and you'll be okay. That's not love, okay? Love means to will the good for someone else. 
Now, how do I will the good for someone else? Well, I will the good for someone else by literally promoting them towards the supreme good, the sunum bonum, which is God. Now, in this case, Shalini would be closer to uh, this other guy that's like holding a cucumber uh, wood, okay? And that would mean that it would be better for Ananda, and I think Ananda would agree with me here, innit? That it would be better for him to make him stop insulting her than for him to focus on Shalini, since Shalini is closer to LeBron than he is to Shalini. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Like, Ananda, do you have any thoughts on, um, like, whether, like, there was love being shown there when you were doing what you were doing? I think the genuinely was for I see Sneak Call, like I'm saying, I think he was a was a genuinely misguided kid. I think he's he's locked in where he is right now, but I yeah. think he has an audience that, that is also somewhat misguided by him and wide even widely more by Tate. And I just I I love those people. I don't want those people to be deceived and I know, you know, as a social media generation kid myself, I know how easily you can get influenced into certain beliefs just just from watching these sort of content and thinking, oh yeah, I like this guy, I'm gonna do what he does. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and turn notifications on so that you can see the next upload. I am streaming on Kick as well on YouTube, so make sure you catch me at 6pm. And with that being said, have a better day than me.